MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. I want to put out another um, post-fight video on um, Stipe Miocic versus uh, Fabricio Werdum. Last night, Stipe, you know, um, got a first-round KO against Fabricio Werdum. You know, some people argue that he's the greatest heavyweight of all time. You know, his resume is amazing. It really is. Um, so, regardless if he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, um, I'm not 100% certain on that, you know, that's just some people's opinion, but the the fact of the matter is, Stipe Miocic got a first round KO, you know, where Doom ran into that punch, you know, he was putting pressure on, he was being reckless, um, and Stipe caught him with a flush shot to the jaw, and, uh, and, and Stipe was on his back foot, you know, he was going backwards when he, when he threw that punch, generates a lot of power, um, you know, this guy really is a beast, now last night I was, um, I was in Kingston, um, going pub hopping, and, um, anyway, it was my cousin's bachelor party, so we were out in Kingston going to the bars, and, uh, so, you know, I didn't really get a good chance to, uh, put out a, a longer video, I think I put out a video, it was like 40 seconds long last night, on the street outside the bar, <laughs> but, um, anyway, Crazy, crazy. I actually, you know, if you go back and listen to my prediction video, it's it's a long one, but uh, I I predicted Stipe to win. I predicted him by KO um, or TKO in the in the third round. I said, uh, but I said in the end, I think he's gonna he's gonna stop him. Uh, he's gonna stop Burdum, and uh, he did, and he did it in the first round. I can't believe it. I think it was two minutes and forty seconds into the first round. Um, you know, Stipe. Looked great. Uh, Where Doom looked great up until that point, you know. Now, Where Doom hit him, you know, hit him with a nice few shots to the head. Um, you know, he was he was landing a few shots. He was landing some kicks. Stipe was also, you know, uh, checking a lot of those kicks. Um, and he was doing a good job of that. But um, but yeah, you know, uh, Where Doom tagged him a couple times. Showed Stipe's got a great chin. Um, he's a very tough guy. And, uh, you know, and right before, um, Stipe put him away for good, you know, he caught him with one and, um, you know, we're doomed, stumbled just a tad and, uh, he kept marching forward, putting on that pressure. And, uh, like I said, Stipe on his back foot knocks him out. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, you know, I predicted this and, um, it's nice to see, you know, the underdog, get a knockout and, and, and grab the belt, um, super happy for Stipe, great character guy, um, hard worker, he's uh, tremendously, his cardio is phenomenal, he's a great boxer, I mean, the guy's got 11 KOs in 15 fights, nobody really talks about him a whole lot, but um, I had a feeling he was going to pull this off and he was going to do it by knockout, and um, you know, now what's next, personally, I say, you know, fuck Cain Velasquez and uh, Travis Brown, you know what I mean? Because personally, Stipe might be ready to go in in August, in September, or something like that, you know? Maybe even in July. But the thing is, is that I think Overeem, Alistair Overeem, can get in a fight in, you know, around the summertime. So why don't you match those guys up? Stipe and Overeem, they've never fought. Overeem deserves a title shot, um, you know? And why wait? Why wait till UFC? Why wait till July to figure out the next title fight? You know what I mean. If Stipe, you know, doesn't get a medical suspension, which I can't see that happening. I mean, he didn't really take that many. He took a few shots, but nothing serious. Um. So I mean, he should be ready to go. Alistair Overeem just had a. He didn't even get touched against um. Uh. You know. Arlovsky, I mean, Arlovsky had a one flurry at the beginning of the fight, but nothing really landed too too heavily. Um, so so you know, Stipe and World Overeem, they sh they could be ready to go. You know, what about UFC two hundred two in August? You got Conor McGregor and uh, Nate Diaz on that card. That's the rumor. And uh, hey, maybe even Nick Diaz versus Carlos Condit or whoever else. But have both Diaz brothers have you know the heavyweight title on the line? Stipe versus Overeem, and you know. Then, if you want, the winner of Cain Velasquez and Travis Brown can get the next title shot. Um, you know, that I could see. But I think Overeem deserves it now. Why the heck not? Both guys could probably have a, a quick turnaround, you know, quick enough. 
three, four months, fight again, you know, fight in the summer, uh, you know, even if it's August, September, whatever, um, and, you know, also, you got to think about Junior Dos Santos, you know, um, had a great win over Big Ben Rothwell, you know, fought a different style, a smarter style, he boxed more, um, and, you know, he, um, he has a win over Stipe Miocic, now, that was a very close fight, that's, to me, Stipe Miocic, that was his real coming out party, um, because, you know, nobody thought he could go five rounds with, uh, Junior Dos Santos, or, you know, maybe some people did, but not too many, uh, he was a huge underdog in that fight, and, you know, he landed a lot of shots against Junior, he had a good fight, I mean, uh, it was a close, close fight. It could have went either way, but I mean, I understand they gave it to Junior, um, but it was very close. It was a tough fight for Junior. So anyway, uh, that fight could be later down the road as well. Um, and I, you doll, everyone knows Junior Dos Santos would love to get his revenge, uh, not revenge, but get the belt again. Um, and Stipe would want to get his revenge, uh, being the champ, you know, uh, defending his title against a guy that beat him. If he can get past Junior, that would be a great win for Stipe. So, I mean, uh, lots to look forward to. Um, but, I, but like my buddy said, you know, the UFC, it has to, the heavyweight division has to get rolling. You know, fuck Kane. I'm sorry, I like Kane. But honest to God, the guy is always hurt, okay? Always fucking hurt. Who even knows if he'll make it to UFC 200? I hope he does. I really do. I, I want to, I like Kane. But the thing is, is why do we have to keep waiting on this guy? You know? Um, Overeem's ready, you know, and Overeem, no one, no one really likes Overeem too much, you know, a lot of people don't like him, but he deserves the title shot, I mean, uh, have, do it in the meantime, They'll so they're fighting, you know, around the same time as Cain Velasquez and Travis Brown, whether it's a month or two after, you know, and the winner of Brown and Cain can get the next title shot, I mean, um, I don't know, one win over Travis Brown, does that really deserve a title shot, I, I know Cain was a former champion, but, um, like I said, Overeem, in the meantime, versus Stipe Miocic, that would be a great fight. I think uh, it makes sense, you know. But, uh, anyway, just wanted to put out my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Stipe, Stipe Miocic, the new champion, the new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. The real king of the land. So, forget about LeBron James there. He brought the championship back first. Um, and who knows if even LeBron will bring one to, to Cleveland. Maybe he will this year, but Golden State, I mean, we'll see. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, if you like this video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, at MMABoxingTalk1. Peace.